Welcome to Mom and D to Hawaii. Okay, so today I'm gonna do a video, live video that I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, this is gonna look at the Cricut Joy Tote as well as some more affordable options for bags for storing your Cricut Joy. Um, so when the tote first came out, which is when the Joy came out, this bag was pretty darn expensive, uh, so I did not buy one. But the price has significantly come down. This bag is available currently on Amazon for $30. And actually on the Cricut website, they're having a Cricut Joy one-year anniversary sale. So this Joy is on sale there at this time for $28. I have the links below. And so you can see that this bag is pretty thick. It's sturdy. And I really do like the fact that it has a strap here. But again, this is the most expensive option that we'll be going through today because there are a lot of alternative options available on Amazon that you can use. So we'll talk about those in a little while. So this, it actually tells you which way to put it in. So you're supposed to put it in upside down. So there's this flat part here and you put it in this way. And it fits snugly inside. And you can see there's a little space for your plug as well here. And so all this fits in really nicely. It is, of course, designed for Cricut, by Cricut, so it should fit perfectly in there. And if I can get the wires in, so you can see, this is pretty cute. And the good thing about this bag is it does have space here for all your mats. And there's like a little magnetic closure here to help keep it closed. But you can see your mats fit perfectly back here. Oh, So this is, again, the first option, the most expensive option. And again, it does fit everything pretty well. But if you don't want to spend $28 to $30 on this bag, uh, which I didn't when I first got my Joy, there are lots of options on Amazon. So here are some that I found. I did know the measurements, obviously, because I had the joy to make sure that it would fit ahead of time. You just have to make sure you look carefully at the sizes. So again, this is a two compartment. This is a gray insulated lunch bag. And this is the next most expensive option. It is $23. And again, you can put it in the same way, upside down. Um, the benefits of this bag is that there's a lot more pockets in here. And you can see it here. All these different little lunch pockets that are supposed to be, I assume, for your utensils. Um, it also has a special little hook at the top. So I really like this bag because there's a lot of space for all your pens to go in. Um, and the other benefit is that it has an extra pouch, you can see down here, for even more storage. So if you want to, I think I have an extra blade in here and then you can put your pen packs in here. So again, the good thing about this one is that there's a really, there's a lot more storage and it's compact. So you can actually see the size differences. So like the Cricut Joy Tote is a little bit wider, it's longer. But this one is a little bit more compact, a little bit more narrow. The drawbacks of this specific bag is that it doesn't have a strap. So that's one thing I like about the Joy, the Cricut. The Cricut bag is there is a strap. But again, this one, a lot more storage, pockets all over the place, you know, and it fits in just as nice. Uh, so the plug would also have to go in the bottom for this one because there's no place else to put it. You have to put it in here like that. Okay. So this is option number two. And again, this bag was... $23 on Amazon. And again, there are a lot of other options, but I tried to find the ones that would 
fit the cricket joy perfectly. The whole purpose of the joy is that it's small and compact and easy to transport. So of course I wanted to make sure it was portable. This bag is the cheapest option. This is a toiletry bag. So you can see I actually have the tools in here already. I actually really do love this bag because this is the smallest, most compact option all out of all the bags. But the one drawback is it's not as thick because it's a toiletry bag. It doesn't actually have a whole lot of room for anything else. And it doesn't have a whole lot of padding. Like the other bags, both have some insulation in them. So it will help to protect your Cricut Joy a little bit better. Now this is really no room for accessories, hardly. Just a little bit of your tools can fit in there. But otherwise, the bag is so small, it just fits your Joy. And, and I actually have to... You have to finagle it just a little bit to get everything in there. There's some pockets in the inside, so you can put a little bit of stuff. But again, the benefit of this bag, again, is it costs only $10. And also that it's so compact, fits the joy perfectly. A lot more small than the tote. As you can see here, how much wider it is, how much bigger this one is compared to this one. And I love this teal color. It perfectly matches the Joy as well as the other bag. So, again, I know a little bit overboard with all the different bags, but I wanted to try them all out and see which one would be the best, fit it the best. Especially, and you could... I'm probably gonna keep a couple different bags for different uses and reasons. So like this bag is just for simple transport, but if I'm actually gonna go on a plane or where I'm worried about bumping things around, I'm definitely gonna pick the bag with more insulation. Um, so this bag, it's the last one that I got potentially for this purpose. This one also has this insulated bag feel so again it'll offer your joy more protection the good thing about this shape is you can actually put the cricket joy upright in this bag instead of upside down it still fits perfectly you can see here and it also has this second pouch for more storage as well so this pouch is pretty big as well all of it again is insulated this one has lots of room for your plug, as well as pens, your mats, and it's in a separate compartment. And the other bonus for this option is that there is a strap as well. And it's an adjustable strap, just like the Cricut one. So it's a, again, this these options are all a little bit narrower than the Cricut. Tote. And again, the Cricut Tote was designed for the Cricut Joy, but it is the most expensive option. So I think there's a lot of other options as well, unless you can get this on sale or if you can get it on eBay for cheaper. I think you have lots of options. And if you do decide to buy something, and I recommend using my links only because, or using the ones that I recommend, only because I've actually tried it. And I know they fit really well in the bags that I've listed. Um, if you use something else that you find on Amazon, that's totally fine. But make sure you actually look at the measurements and make sure it'll fit inside of your bag because you'd hate to buy it and it not fit. But that's it. I'm going to try to keep this video short. Please comment, subscribe, like. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the bags that I got for the Joy. Again, they all fit and they all work well. It just kind of depends on your style and your price point. And please let me know if you like any of the other bags over the Cricut bag. And again, I'm going to try to show you how to fancy 
your bags up a little bit, personalize them, because that's what we do when we have a cricket. But thanks for watching. And again, let me know if you have questions or concerns. And have a great day. Bye.